Hello, welcome to my unboxing. Today we are unboxing this wonderful package here, which contains, I hopefully assume, is a MIDI fighter twister, not this cup of coffee. That was a joke. Now you'll see here, this box is completely unopened. It has not had my identifying information removed. Now if we just open up the totally normal packaging, we can see that on the inside there are another two flaps. Now this is something that I really think is a good design in packaging where not only are there flaps on the outside, but to create a complete seal, there's another two flaps on the inside. Because if it was just this, for example, it wouldn't have the resistance it would have when you push down. It would fold in or it could bust out. Say if there were something like bees inside, the bees would be able to get out. So we go a step further here. We can't help but notice that they use cardboard. I think this is corrugated cardboard, but I don't actually know because I don't know what that means. But uh, maybe these these ruffles here I think are cure guards, and that's why it's cure guarded cardboard. Okay. Now we move on to the inside, and we'll see that they went with this interesting cube-ish shape for their their box. Toss it over there, and uh, the first thing that kind of jumps out at me is that they use two colors for the outside. That's very sleek. They used a white, I believe it is, and a black. And on the outside, you'll notice here. Let me, let me get in there. They use this film. It's called Fury Film because it is really, really frustrating to take off. So I'm going to use a special tool here designed to remove Fury Film and just draw, apparently, on the box. And there we are. Now, just as a reminder, this is an unboxing for this fighter twister thing uh, and not for this pen. That would be a much shorter video. Now we remove the Fury plastic. Get that off here and hide it because my cat's an asshole. Let's put it in this drink container. Here we are. And we'll notice here that again they went with cardboard which is really really smart if you think about it because if they had used something like wax paper or water it would not have done a good enough job but let's let's finally open it up here um, I believe this is more packaging material um, I'm not sure like maybe it's I don't know some kind of performance tool, like you get that with video and you spin it around, oops, oops, oops. I don't I don't know. Um, yeah, but I, I think this is a packing, packaging material. I'll keep it just in case though. Um, so next up we have um, some cables here. This is what I believe is called a MIDI cable. We'll, we'll get a close up, uh, I'm sure. People have not seen a MIDI cable before because they're quite rare these days. And uh, let's just pull this apart. This is not as furious plastic. It's more like light range plastic, which uncut fingernails make short work of. <laughs> Long fingernails make short work. That's another joke. You can have it for free. And now you'll have little little dangly bit here. This is called a dangly bit. Uh, it's used to frustrate you and immediately take off. Um, and it, I like this. This is removable because usually the dangly bits are stuck on and my cat likes to eat them because again my cat's an asshole. And uh, it might as well be stuck on because oh, and there we go and I'll put that with the plastic in the water glass. And here's another twisty bit. That's another technical term, twisty bit. And you untwist it. Now this is important if you're unboxing one of these. You want to twist it, let's see, in this direction. 
so that it unravels. That's really, really important because otherwise you're just going to get it tighter and tighter and the USB cable may actually catch on fire. Um, it's unknown. And uh, yeah, so that is the mini cable. You'll see this is this right here. Uh, what this is for is so when you put it on a table and you go and you have it like this, it collides with the table and bends. This is this is a really good feature. Uh, I really hope they have it so that um, you know it goes in and it collides with a table or wall or something because that's the really the benefit of having these L shapes is is to to bend them and shorten the life of your cable. So I'm um, good to see here. Good to see here. And I'll put that over here. And then it seems like I have a, a warranty. This will be good for when I spill water on it and then, or drop it, or it just breaks on its own. And since I don't want to ever deal with phone calls, I just eat the cost. This is really good to keep, even though you'll never use it. This is, this is key. I'll put that with the possibly packaged material and the Space Age cable. Now you'll see under here we have um, more, I don't know, maybe this is a hat, uh, maybe it's a frisbee, I, 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 don't, I don't quite know. Which brings us to the bottom of the, the box. Uh, and I think that that's, that's everything. Um, ah, okay, so... Um, this is, uh, I, I think this is the MIDI fighter. Um, is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the MIDI fighter. It could have been the, this stuff, but I'm, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little confusing. They all kind of look like MIDI controllers to me or packaging material. But uh, the first thing you'll notice is that there are knobs. There are actually quite a number of knobs. There are five knobs. And they also act as buttons. And if you press two buttons together, you'll hear two click sounds. And if you do it just at the right time, you'll notice it kind of blends into one sound. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up or where my mic is. Um, so I'm flipping it over. You'll notice that there's a hole in it. This is to make it more aerodynamic um, as, as it comes along the 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 wind right so you have you have it like this and the wind's blowing this way and it captures in here and propels the MIDI controller forward um, that that's the way that uh, sails or small dogs are aerodynamic and uh, as you can see uh, there is the 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 cable we saw earlier see this is called a USB port. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how common USB is, but essentially, it's a cable you plug into something, and little uh, light uh, mixed with fire it sort of shoots out of the cable like a tube, um, and goes to your computer, which reads the heat of the fire and the photons of the light, and creates an electrical current on the side of your computer that is interpreted as hexadecimal um, units, which uh, are typically used to measure gravity, but also sometimes used for computing. And uh, there you go, that's your mini cable. Um, I believe you can rewire the USB cable to just shove it in uh, the standard MIDI uh, port, but I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's my unboxing video. I hope you learned something. I certainly did not. And uh, have a good day.